As we can see from the pictures of this classroom, problem-based learning is a teaching methodology based on providing students with problems. But how it is different from inquiry-based learning? Inquiry-based learning gives the students a research inquiry, something closer to why something happens, what is this thing that we are observing, how does this happen, and so on. On the other hand, problem-based learning creates a real problem that needs to be solved, therefore not an inquiry, but a problem. Why do we have these objects on the table? Problem-based learning was invented and tried out for the first time in the 60s in an American medical school where the professor realized that students, while well prepared in terms of knowledge, were having difficulties in solving problems. This methodology is now widespread in many universities, but the initial idea was why don't we try to propose all this enormous wealth of knowledge as a useful tool for the solution of problems. Why don't we start from the problems and the clinical cases and then explore the information and conceptual dimension? And that is how the problem-based learning was born. In the problem-based learning, the starting point is a presentation of a problem that needs to be as close as possible to the experience of the students or their future professional experience. Presenting a problem means displaying all its contextual dimensions, even with external testimonials tied to professional environment that can portray the reality of the problem. Then students start to explore the problem, organized into small groups. Exploring the problem means articulating some problems and exploring which information, methods or skills will be necessary to solve the problem. When the problem has been deconstructed and explored, that's when the explorative research starts. In terms of search of information, processes and methods that I need to solve the problem. In the end, possible solutions are developed. It's important that more than one solution is presented, as the following stage involves analysis, discussion, exchange, to compare different solutions, using shared methods in order to evaluate which one is the most feasible, the most effective, or the most innovative. When applying this methodology, it is important to provide very clear messages to students about the intended learning outcomes. We have to clarify which knowledge and skills they are expected to reach at the end of the program. In this way, students won't have to worry about doing everything they can to solve problems, as within the educational mission statement, it is very clear for them what the objective they need to achieve and how the solution to the problems will help them reach the objective. Mm -hmm.